So, you planning to lock through on the Okeechobee Waterway? Do you just want to know what it's like? Well, here's a quick primer on what to expect and what to do. And welcome to Adventures of Olo. So, after receiving a whole bunch of requests, we're presenting Olo's westbound run through the Ortona Lock on the Caloosahatchee Canal, also known as the Okeechobee Waterway. This video is a breakout from one of our longer videos where we head from LaBelle, Florida to Fort Myers. Now, be sure to click on the link at the end of this video if you'd like to experience the whole trip. But for now, enjoy your quick ride through the lock. Ortona Lock, Ortona Lock, Motor Vessel Olo. Ortona back, go ahead. Hey, good morning, Ortona. We are westbound motor vessel uh, approaching the lock arrival area, requesting westbound passage. Wait for a green light. You will have choice of sides to die. Good copy, although we'll be standing by 13167. All right, we're waiting for the green light. Maybe we'll get lucky and it will come quickly. So if you're wondering what the red light is, let me see if I can zoom in. You can see it. There it is. That is the red light that we wait to turn green before we approach the locks. It looks like they're opening the gates right now, right? Yeah. There we go. Red to green. Let's do it. So here are a few things to know if you're transiting the locks on the Okeechobee Waterway. The locks monitor VHF channel 13. Hail the lock with the name of your vessel as you approach the arrival area. The arrival area is marked by a sign. And when the lock tender responds, let them know which direction you're traveling and that you'd like to lock through. They'll let you know if you should proceed or if you should wait for the green light, and they'll tell you what side of the lock you should plan to pull up to. Very often they'll tell you you'll have your choice of sides. Be sure to enter at very slow idle speed and have your fenders deployed at your rub rail. Now in Olo, we use what we call our dirty fenders for the locks rather than our dockside fenders, which have nice protective covers on them. The walls and the locks can be kind of rough and slimy. Lines are provided. We like to wear gloves because the lines can be slimy from sitting in the water. Now don't tie off your boat. Just use a cleat to keep tension on the lines and take in or let out slack as the lock fills or empties. Everyone aboard is required to wear a life jacket and once your boat is secure, you must shut down your main engines unless you're otherwise advised. It really is a straightforward process and there is no reason to be intimidated if it's your first time locking through. If you've got any questions about locking through or traveling on the Okeechobee Waterway, leave them in the comments section and we will do our best to help you out. If you enjoyed the video, well, thanks in advance for clicking the like button and be sure to subscribe and whack that notification bell so you don't miss a minute of the continuing adventures of Olo.